Do you know that you can move objects using JavaScript? In this video, we will move objects using the key down feature. Previously, I made a project called Ball Game. I will get help from the Ball Game project while making this application. I will copy all the codes in the HTML code file into Visual Studio. In the HTML file, the title of the game is determined using the title keyword. In addition, the CSS and script files are synchronized with the HTML code file. An object named character has been created. The character object is actually the ball object that we will use in the project. I can copy the codes from the CSS file on GitHub. I need a part of the JavaScript code file. Since I don't need some variables, I will delete it. We can move the object left and right using the move right and move left functions. We will soon learn how to move the object up and down. Let's get a better understanding how it works by making some changes with codes in the CSS code file. For example, let's change the background color. We can change the color of the playing field. I am deleting the block and whole objects because I won't be using them in the project. The game object in the CSS file represents the playground. The character object is a ball object as I said before. The color of the ball object is red as you can see. I can move the ball object right and left with codes in the JavaScript file. Now let's find out how we can move it up and down. I am copying the move right function. I will create a function to move the object upwards. I can move it upwards using the left value of the object. But I don't think this makes sense. I want to move the object using the top value. Since the size of the playground is 500px, I adjust the if query accordingly. I am editing the object inside the if query as top. When the key down object works, I need to define it so that the function can run. I will use the keyword arrow up to describe pressing the up arrow key. I am editing the function name. Finally, I reduce the top value by 2, 2px so that the object goes up. In this way, when the arrow up button is pressed, the object will move upwards. The object move upwards, but there's a problem. When the ball value is less than 0, while the object is going up, the object disappears. Let's fix this problem. We can work around this by adding requirement that the top value be greater than 0 in the if query. Let's try again. We fixed this issue thanks to this parameter in the if query. Now let's create another function to animate the object downwards. In order to for the object to move down, we should increase the ball value instead of decreasing it. Let's add the function to the key down listener property. The object moves up and down, but when the ball value is more than 500, the object disappears. To solve this problem, I replace the top with 480. Because the size of the object is 20px and the query is related to the top value. Problem solved. Even if the arrow down button is pressed, it does not work after 480px. In this way, the object remains on the playing field. But when the top value is 0, the object does not move downwards. Finally, we can solve this problem by replacing 0 with minus 1. The object can now move downwards even the top value is 0. 
In this video, we move the objects using the key down feature. 